we finally seen a correction right across the board but there was one coin one ecosystem that managed to hold on that's solana and with good reason the potential with this coin is insane especially compared to eth i mean how are we just all happily paying hundreds of dollars in gas fees as if nothing's wrong if you ask me solana has one of the best chances to topple ethereum it makes sense this ecosystem has the speed gas efficiency scalability and now the popularity with the ecosystem growing more and more as well as the gaming sector being scouted as the next big rotation for this bull run i'm bringing you my top three gaming picks for the solana ecosystem if this is your first time here my name is summer and this is fire hustle i talk about all things crypto and share my personal strategies as we head into the next bull cycle i recently launched the premium fire hustle vip discord for those of you that want exclusive access to my private token sales my personal portfolio plays early access to my content before everyone else and much more you can find the link below in the description if you're interested before we get started don't forget to like subscribe and most importantly hit that shiny bell notification button it really helps the channel more than you think and i'd really appreciate it and as always please remember that none of this is financial advice now first let's talk about solana itself since that's what all of these games are standing on at the end of the day if you haven't heard solana is now being seen as the bronze contender in the crypto big three behind bitcoin and ethereum well maybe not for too long the solana chain has some amazing features is going for it like the quick transaction finality so that when you buy a 10,000 x meme coin your transaction goes through before the token shoots up 800% and on top of that it's scalable it handles a lot of TPS or transactions per second and does a great job with interoperability which allows for cross-chain compatibility the speed and scalability is especially important for games think about playing a game where the moves you make are recorded on the blockchain these actions need to happen fast so they don't slow down the pace of the gameplay that's why Solana is a great Great chain for games to be built on so with that being said let's jump into game number one this is an upcoming game that has seen an insane amount of hype and rightfully so take a look at the gameplay It's called Nyan Heroes and this is a team-based mech shooter game built on Unreal Engine 5 where you can play as cats piloting giant robots. Its gameplay, map design, and art style definitely reminds me of Overwatch with the soft arcade style colors. And the character mechanics are also similar with each hero having unique abilities that can be used in game. They'll have a warrior, defender, assassin, sniper, medic, scout, mechanic, and soldier. So now that we have an idea of the gameplay, the game has an ecosystem around it as well. First are the Genesis Nyan NFTs, a collection of 11,111 NFTs that come with benefits like access to Nyan DAO, the community's DAO, a limited edition profile picture, exclusive access to merch and collectibles, and early access to beta testing and pre-sales. Not only that, but you can also stake these NFTs to participate in missions and earn rewards in the form of something called Catnip or the native token Nyan. Now before we jump into the token, let's talk about the assets that players can own and trade in game, starting with Catnip. So this is an in-game currency that players can use in the Nyan Heroes Marketplace where they can trade guardians, weapons, skins, raw materials, cosmetic items, and tons more. On top of that, players can even loan out these items in return for a percentage of the value earned by the player who borrowed it. Land is another asset in this game. Nyan Heroes will be divided into different plots of land surrounding the center of the map. The closer a plot is to the center, the higher its value will be. This will be an extremely valuable asset for players and once all land is distributed there will be no more generated meaning that the previous owner will have to sell their plots in order for new players to acquire land. Nyan Heroes also has guilds where owners can build marketplaces, job boards, shop, repair centers and more. So if you have a large guild your land will have more visitors which will increase your commission earnings. That brings us to yield generation. Players can harvest resources in the background as they play the game. This can be in the form of mining, farming or harvesting. These resources can be traded in the marketplace. And the last benefit for land owners is advertising. If permitted, land owners can place ads in their land for players to see. Jumping into the tokenomics, I mentioned that the native asset for this project is the Nyan token. This token can be staked and used in governance and its value comes from the marketplace fees, mint fees and direct purchasing of the token. Now because the project isn't out yet, we can't go over the token price but we do know that the token will be distributed 20 
25% to investors, 0.5% to the DAO community, 20% to the team, 2.5% for public sale, 3% for liquidity, 14% for the treasury, 5% for the ecosystem fund, and 30% for incentives. The team did mention that they'll be reducing the team allocation from 20% to 15%, so I'd love to know where that 5% ends up going. Now let's take a look at the project's team, investors, partnerships, and any recent news. So the project CEO and co-founder is Max Fu. He's worked with major companies like Google, Netflix, and Samsung with a focus on product development and overseeing operations. John Walsh is the development director and he's worked on projects like Microsoft Flight Simulator and World of Tanks. The game technical director is Gideon Geba and he's worked on games like Saints Row, The Third, The Metro Series, and even Rainbow Six Sage. Finally, the design director is Niall Sankey who has worked on games like Halo and Destiny. So that's a solid team but another Another crazy detail is that they're partnered with Razer and Epic Games and yes the project will be launching on the Epic Games launcher which is massive news. They're also backed by some big capital groups like Infinity Ventures and Mechanism Capital. They also announced a partnership with Mon Protocol, a mysterious pre-launch project with the goal of bringing games, characters, and worlds on chain. Overall I think gameplay is one of the most important things and Nyan Heroes looks amazing. Plus the fact that they have Epic Games approval is enough of a reason for me to have this as a first pick on today's list. But now let's cover number two, Dino Pets. So this is a move to earn idol style game and yes they're finally making a comeback and personally I can't wait. Dino Pets lets you explore, battle, and evolve digital pets that are similar to Pokemon as you walk and complete daily missions. So it's pretty simple, your steps can be converted into energy which is what unlocks your ability to earn rewards, energy can be used to level up, battle, explore, and play with your pet and the cool thing is that your pets can evolve over time. They also have a mood that's tied around mini games. As you complete them, your pet will improve its mood each day and in return, happier Geno pets are more efficient with their energy. There are also habitats in the game which can be minted and then traded or leased to other players. If you have a habitat, you can also convert energy into KI which is a token within the Geno pets ecosystem. Alright, so let's dive into the tokenomics. Geno pets is planning to have a dual token system with KI being the in-game utility token. KI can be used to craft NFTs, mint habitats, level up, and refine crystals so it's a lot of uses. The other token is Gene which is their governance token allowing holders to take part in an important votes for the project. It can also be staked which allows users to earn from the liquidity rewards pool. It's important to note that these rewards are locked for one year by default but can be withdrawn right away in the form of S Gene which is usable in game. Alright let's move on to partnerships, news, and their future plans. So the team is doxxed and visible on the website with links to each member's twitter profile in case you want to do more deep research. I always think it's a good sign when we can see the team members as it shows that they have confidence in their product. Some of the investors and partners include Convoy, Pantera, Solana Capital, Mechanism Capital, Animoca Brands, Merit Circle, and tons more. All that's left is to launch the project and successfully implement all the features like quests and storylines, multiplayer and team battles, and much more. I'm definitely excited to see more move to earn projects like this one making a comeback, especially as we get closer to the summer. And finally, for the third pick, I had to cover the biggest project in the space, no pun intended, Star Atlas. So for those who haven't heard, Star Atlas is a fully in-depth space exploration game with shipbuilding, land ownership, guilds, and tons more. Each player joins the game by purchasing a ship in the form of an NFT and these comes in tons of different sizes and price points. Then players can explore, harvest, and fight to gain resources such as tokens and NFTs. The project coin is called Atlas and it's used for buying, selling, and trading goods or resources in the in-game asset marketplace, farming, upgrading your weapons, and tons more. So if we take a look at the charts, Atlas has had a solid run since last year with around 200% gains. Looking at the two-week time frame, we have around 25-30% to gains at the time of recording. Now from the last Bitcoin dip, we've seen Star Atlas correcting along with everything else in the markets but that's just the nature of the crypto market. When you look at the gameplay it's obvious why Star Atlas has the highest amount of unique active wallets in the Solana gaming ecosystem at over 5,000. Now one last thing I had to share this absolutely huge piece of news from the Star Atlas team. So they just announced that one of their largest titan level ships was just sold to a buyer. Now this probably sounds like nothing and you're wondering why would this even be important? Well the ship is worth five million dollars. Yes 
yes, it was purchased by GG Collective. And just the fact that people are willing to pay this much money for this game just truly shows the demand and hype that's built up around it. I personally think that the game looks beautiful, but I'd love to hear your guys' opinions on any of the games that I mentioned in this video or any other game that you might have on your list as well. And remember guys, even though I added these to my list, I urge you all to do your own research before making any investment decisions. No one knows for sure where any of these projects can go, so always only invest what you're willing to lose. If you're interested in checking out our VIP Discord, check out the link in the description below and that's all folks if you want to learn more about my portfolio and strategies let me know in the comments below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel remember the crypto space comes with high risk and none of this is financial advice i highly recommend that you do your own research before deciding to invest hope you guys enjoyed the video see you in the next one